I will just look few questions that will be based on the average and it will give you more clarity in your thought and understanding. Just will try to read the question. This is given common question number one and two are based on the following information. What is the information? Five salesmen are working in a company. Every salesman has a target of 36,000 per month. This is fate of salesmen. No, nobody can change. If you are in sales, then you have to meet the target. If you are not meeting the target, then your salary will be deducted. If you are meeting that above, meeting the target above than your task, then you will get extra extra money in the form of incentive. I think same situation will be there. If they achieve more than the target, then 10% of the differential amount will be paid as an incentive with salary. Like just suppose if you are achieving more than 36,000, like 40,000, then 4,000 is extra. That is differential amount. 40,000 minus 36,000. Then 10% of 4,000 means 400 you will get extra as an incentive in your salary. Second condition, if they achieve less than the target, then 20% of the differential amount will be deducted from salary. If you are performing less, then deduction will be more. If you are performing more, achievement or incentive will be less. Incentive you will get only 10%. Deduction you will get 20% if you are not achieving the task. This is the company, company policy. Then just suppose less than 36,000, if you have achieved only 34,000, means 2,000 less you have achieved, then 20% of 2,000 means 400 rupees will be deducted from your salary. Now, salary of each salesman is 6,000 per month. That is given. There is no issue. In April 2020, they achieved the target as 32,000, 38,000, 22,000, 40,000 and 48,000. Five salesmen are there. Their uh, achievement or whatever task they have achieved during the April 2020 are 32,000, 38,000, 20, 22,000, 40,000, 48,000. Ideal salary or actual salary of every salesman is 6,000. If they achieved more than 36,000, then whatever differential amount, they will get 10% extra as an incentive or bonus. If they have achieved less than target, then 20% of differential amount will be deducted as a penalty or as a punishment. Then question number one, find the average income of these five salesmen in April 2020. Average income they are telling, not average whatever target they achieved. No. Average income, just suppose if only salary is coming, means everybody is doing perfect ideal way means all the salesman had achieved all five salesman has achieved the task exactly 36,000 Then what will happen everybody will get 6k 6k each means average also will become 6k there is no deviation 6k you are adding five times dividing by five it will be 6k if all number are same then average will be same but here situation is one salesman one is achieving 32,000 2 is 38,000, this is 22,000, 40,000, 48,000. Means they are achieving the different target of the sales, then their salary also will be calculated based on the condition. Then first thing we have to look, who are getting more than 36,000, who are getting less than 36,000. Then here 32,000, you can say it is a less, 22,000 less, these two are less, these three are more. Now again, differential amount also will decide. But one thing is sure, now average will not go more than 6,000. Average cannot go more than 6,000. Okay. Because one, uh, two is less, three is more. Just we'll try to calculate whatever differential amount is there. If you are taking the differential amount in count, like salesman one, 32,000 means 4,000 less. 4,000 less means it will become 20% as a penalty, means 800 will be deducted. 20% of 4,000. 20% of 4,000 is 800. Effective salary will become 5,200. Means 6,000, it will be deducted 5,200. Salesman 2, they are uh, get, uh, they are uh, they are achieving the target of 38,000. Means 2,000 here 4,000 less, 2,000 here more. If 2,000 more means 10% extra, 200 he will get extra. Means he will get 6,200. Likewise, all five salesmen, so we will calculate, then it will come like 5,200. 6,200, 3,200, 6, this, this, this. Average will become 5,640. Means directly we can mark this. This we can count based on the deviation. You can say it is a just based on the deviation from average central tendency of the data or average average value of the data. How much it is less? How much it is more? How many data is this side? How many data is this side? Based on that deviation, we will able to measure the 